Starting off, I started off playing football in uh, Southeast Washington, D.C. Started off playing for a Pop Warner team, uh, Woodland Tigers. Kind of remember it like it was yesterday. Um, had a lot of great experiences out there, a lot of life lessons learned. But it kind of gave me towards uh, wanting to play football on a more, I should say, uh, let's say more professional level. Um, I started to really become interested in pursuing a goal and, you know, playing on the NCAA level probably around the time of middle school. Um, that's when things started to get a little serious. Uh, that's when I kind of took my football talents and went out in Maryland. I started to play uh, with the Maryland Razorbacks in Upper Marlboro with a couple of uh, good friends or whatnot. And um, one of my friends in particular, his dad kind of guided me in the right direction uh, as far as, let's say, a mentor. The Island um, was our head coach for the Razorbacks. Uh, from there, you know, I started to look into a lot of private high schools, the Mad, the uh, McNamara stuff in a local PG County area uh, at the time because I was going to James Madison. But um, I talked to a couple of, you know, family members and stuff, came up with the decision that I wanted to go to North Point High School. Uh, went out there, played ball for four years, uh, set a couple of records, smack records, stuff like that. Um, Within a mix of things, I had a couple of NCAA schools come talk to me, uh, showing me interest and stuff. Um, with all that being said, I then went on to go play at Towson University. Once I got to Towson, it, it, it was one of the best experiences I honestly had in my life. Uh, I learned a lot from playing with these guys up here, especially within just my freshman year. Um, the transition with them coming to college was kind of, you know, I would say nerve-wracking for me just off the simple fact of me being a family man and, you know, leaving, having to leave my family back at home to come, you know, an hour away and adapt to living on my own. It was different, but um, I was able to cope. Fills Over Streets was an avenue I kind of created just to bring athletics within communities. That's um, something I feel as though we lack nowadays in society, getting our youth the attention they need when it comes to athletics. Um, we got a lot of kids out here, especially in poverty situations, without good role models. So we try to bring, you know, student athletes and stuff like that to come play roles in these um, children's lives as role models and stuff and give them, you know, a bigger understanding of what they're saying every day in their environment. So, Fills Over Streets is more than a movement. We look at it as life lessons for youth as well.